Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie if you don't know me and I really appreciate you stopping by to see my Dollar Tree haul today. I've got a lot of great finds. I'm super excited to share them with you. Subscribe to my channel if you're into this sort of thing. Here I plan on doing lots of Dollar Tree hauls, Timu hauls, shopping hauls, shopping walkthroughs. I like to do crafts so I will incorporate those videos here soon and I might be vlogging in the future. We'll see what the future holds. I'm still a new YouTube baby. I don't really know much about YouTube. I just started on here. So your subscription is much appreciated. Your likes, comments, um, shares, it's all appreciated and it helps my channel grow. So without further ado, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. I want to start with one of my favorite finds so far this week. And I've seen them around a lot, but I was lucky enough to find my size, this t-shirt, okay? This t-shirt was $1.25. I am thoroughly impressed. It's super soft, it's nice. Um, this is an extra large. I didn't see any plus sizes, cause I would've got like a, maybe like a 2X just for the loose fitting, for a more loose fitting shirt, but I found this one an extra large and I was super excited to find this one. Everything is still in bags. If you don't like crinkly, crinkly bag noises, I'm sorry, but please keep watching. <laughs> I want to show you all. I've also found this shirt. Now this is a different brand. This is the Gildan Soft Style Ring Spine brand, and this is also an extra large. It seems to be a little bit smaller than the one that I have on. But this was only $1.25. This is like thicker material. It's a heathered purple shade. So you all, if you are browsing your local Dollar Trees, make sure to stop by the soft line section. Sometimes there is digging required to find the t-shirts. A lot of the Dollar Trees around my area, usually they have the t-shirts all mixed in with each other with like the youth sizes as well as the women's you have to dig for them. So you have to dig for the gold. So I hope that you all run into these t-shirts because for $1.25, you cannot beat that. So yeah, I got this purple one and I'm excited about it. And this blue one. This blue one is the brand Next Level. Next Level. I found the Hello Kitty socks again. Had to get a pair. This is a great deal. These are distributed by Greenbrier, but they're just Hello Kitty. I love these. Super cute. So I grabbed those. I was on Facebook and I saw this girl do this awesome craft with these um, napkin holders. She put these up on her wall and she put like vinyl records in them and it looks super cute to hold your vinyl records on the wall. I just love that idea. I found these all clear electronic wipes, lemon scented. There's 30 wipes and it shows a TV and I'm excited about these because things get dusty around here. So I'm looking forward to using these and I'm sure I can use them on my phone as well. It removes buildup on mobile devices, laptops, monitors, and more. It has a big screen TV on there, so I'm excited to get dusting on my TV. So I picked those up. I've seen these a lot. Um, I grabbed this though to hang my keys on in my kitchen, I, and I'm not gonna keep it this color. I believe I'm gonna paint it, probably white. So I grab this for my keys. Something else that I found that I had not seen hauled and I had not seen any Dollar Trees recently, I'm excited. This is the Aroma Diffuser by Be Pure. Awaken the senses, mind, body, and soul, it says. Has a continuous run time. It takes two AAA batteries, a water-free diffusing, portable and compact design. So, we're gonna open this together. I bought some um, batteries to go with it. AAA batteries. I grabbed two of those. I'm excited to see how this works. Aw, bummer, it takes a freaking screwdriver. I'm gonna go grab a Phillips head tiny ass screwdriver. 
So let's open up this thing. A miniature tiny screwdriver. <laughs> so I do this so you all aren't surprised when you get this for yourself, which you probably are more um, prepared than me. The average person is usually more prepared than I am, but here we go. I don't know. Oh, oh it's so cute. Oh no, is it stuck? Calm down, stop it. I think I pushed the button in too far and now, uh-uh. No, you guys, mm, not good. What the hell? <laughs> so I opened up the top. That's where all the wires and stuff are. This button here, it keeps getting stuck. So. I don't know, this is pretty cheap. I feel like you'll have to open up the battery compartment to stop it at all times, but I could just have a faulty one. I mean, I think I pushed the button too hard, but come on, Dollar Tree. This is so strange. Here we go. So there's this little fabric ring that you put at the bottom. What do the directions say, Jesse? Read the directions. <laughs> Place the aromatherapy diffuser on flat, dry, stable surface out of reach of children and pets. Rotate the base of the aromatherapy diffuser and remove the base. Remove the cap of the base. Carefully infuse a pad with up to four to six of your favorite fragrance oil not included. Do not oversaturate the pad to prevent leaks. Never place oil liquid directly on inside the diffuser unit. Always use an infuser pad. Press the power button to turn the device fan will continuously run. Press the power button again to turn off when desired. Okay, my power button's kind of faulty, y'all. Luminescence in the healing. So this is aromatherapy fragrance oil. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. Whew. Um, it doesn't have a dropper, so I'm just gonna do a little there. six drops because I'm an extra <laughs> but like I guess it just sits in there oh wait sits down here and also you have to be a rocket scientist to do this apparently um so there's that works. Not bad, not bad. It makes a very strange noise. <laughs> cha -cha -cha, cha -cha -cha. And it don't turn off. You gotta mess with it. Cut it out. I said stop already. There we go. All right, y'all, so that is the Be Pure Aroma Diffuser that I'm probably never gonna mess with again. So there you have it. This is the Odo Fan Air Freshener in the scent Spring Fresh. I have used the Cherry one recently. I really like it. I wanted to pick up the Spring Fresh. This is a good brand. If you find this, I would pick this up. Um, they're at the Dollar Tree, and the strange thing is, I think they're there because I think there was a whole bunch of bottles that weren't filled all the way as you can see like I haven't used this yet but it's not filled up all the way you can use it in your car restroom locker room living rooms disposals kitchens toilets urinals dining areas linen closets storage areas garbage cans closets ashtrays spray a light mist into the air or onto the order source Repeat as necessary.
That smells good. It's got like a, a mint smell to it. Minty. But it smells good. For $1.25, I think that's a good deal. Grabbed one of these microfiber dusting mop pads. We're going to use this for the bottom of our Easter tree at work. Isn't that cute? As like bunny fur or something. Isn't that a good idea? I thought it was. The Easter tree in my living room, I did that. And then I put one of those little bunny butts on the very top of the tree. And I'll show you also in my um, Easter crafts eventually. I'll record that for you while and show you. But that's what I picked this up for. But these are like my favorite right now. These are the Glass Plus uh, glass cleaning wipes. And these are great for everyday use on your countertops, your windows, your car. Um, just like spot cleaning I use them for and they are really nice. It says they're streak free and you get 160 wipes. Pick these up. These are really good if you haven't tried them yet. You should give them. I've been looking for this forever. This is the Standard Essentials Rubber Broom and I have been looking for this because it has a little squeegee on the end here. So you can do your windows with your broomstick. You just attach it here and um, you can collect dog hair, human hair. My hair falls out so much everywhere so I wanted to give this a try and I've been looking for this. It has these nice rubber bristles, not too hard. They're actually pretty soft and move really well. So I was excited to finally find this. I've been looking for a long time. I've seen this hauled a lot so I can't wait to use this on my windows. So I picked that up. I picked up some reusable gloves. These are the heavy duty size medium, the pink ones. I use these for cleaning, so I picked those up. Never um, have too many of those. So right now, I guess we're getting into the cleaning part. I tried to organize it as much as I could. I got this reusable spray bottle. So I can make my cleaning solution and use this. Can never have too many of these. Let's see. So some household essential things that I got. Got these health adhesive hooks. These are actually really nice. I got the um, the silver ones, the the bigger ones that come four, no, yeah, four in a pack. And they actually stick really well. I've been using them on my bathroom doors to hang up my towels, and I'm impressed. So I picked up these clear ones. This comes with six in there. It says that it holds up to two pounds. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, maybe for hanging decor or anything. So I grabbed those. I picked up this seven day pill organizer. I really need this for my purse for like my vitamins and stuff that I take daily. I've been using a Ziploc bag. My plan is to take just one colored thing a day in my purse. I can only take my medication in the morning, but uh, this is just so cute. So if you are a daily um, medication taker, this is, just so convenient it has different colors for each day it has a morning and night slot and it comes in this big case here so I thought that was super cute pill box so I picked that up this is so convenient though so that's what that looks like. so these are garden gloves they had several different beautiful um, patterns this year. I really love the dainty vintage spring floral patterns that they have. They actually had one with cherries all over them, but these were my favorite. These are so beautiful. I just love the flowers on them. So I'm getting excited for spring, y'all. These are beautiful. Look how pretty. I love the aesthetic they're going for this year with the um, garden gloves. So take a look at those when you go into your local Dollar Tree. They have really pretty designs. Not that it matters because they're going to get dirt all over them, but it matters to me, okay? <laughs> it matters. 
I was browsing Facebook Reels again and saw another do-it-yourself crafty thing. So I picked up these two wooden crate trays, wooden trays. And I'll show you the idea that I kind of have that I kind of, I saw this girl do. So basically she glued the tray to the top where I might do like right there and then one at the bottom. They have these little wooden um, plank boards there at the Dollar Tree, which they had a lot of these and all the other Dollar Trees that I go to, I've never seen these before. So I grabbed these and I'll do it like that. Use some E6000 glue or maybe wood glue. I don't know yet. But also what the girl did, she got some of this um, craft fabric and I got this cute design. And then she Mod Podged the fabric on the piece of wood on the side. So I'm definitely going to try that out. Like, whoop, on the side there. Makes it really pretty. Oh, that's so, so cute. So that would be cute for your bathroom. I'm going to put all your little stuff in here. But I'm going to paint these. And so I picked up two of these fabrics and two plank boards and these two trays. So I'm gonna try to do that and I'll show you all when I complete it. In the crafter square section, I got these finger protectors, which I'm sure you all have seen, but I've really been needing these for um, using hot glue because I don't know why. As soon as I put the hot glue on, I get the bright idea that I'm going to push it and secure it with my finger. And that's never a good idea, okay? Because I burnt myself yesterday. So I'm excited to use these. If you haven't seen these, aren't they cute? And for $1.25, you get three of them. So those will definitely come in handy. I found, which I've been looking for, this beautiful um, this burlap fabric. Craft fabric is what it's called. I've been dying to open this up. This has the beautiful floral pattern on it. This is beautiful. You can do so much with this. You can even maybe attach it to those wooden planks for that um, little do-it-yourself thing. But I just love this. So beautiful. So I got the floral one. I got the polka dot one. And you know I have to open them. So pretty. You can do so much with these. I love the way burlap smells. Am I weird? Do you like the way burlap smells? Then I got these color your own ornaments. This is a 10 piece. They had other ones. These are the little bunnies and I plan on making a garland with these. I'm going to paint them. Come these little burlap ties. These are just adorable. You can do so much fun stuff with these two. You can even even mod podge some of Dollar Tree fabric that you find with these and make a garland. I'm excited. I think I may just paint these like pastel colors and hang them. So I picked those up. Okay, I grabbed some of these eggs, which I already had some, but I wanted some more. These are really nice to decorate with. Um, you can put them on wreaths, you can put them on a tiered tray, you can do so much with these little eggs, or you can just leave them in the carton and just display them. Super cute. These are the speckled ones. It comes with white, purple, pink, um, like a light teal, a yellow, and a blue. Aren't those sweet? I found this hanging decor, which I hadn't seen this year yet. It has like a beautiful burlap, it's raised. This one says Hippity Hops Carrot Patch, organic, locally grown, 25 cents. It has this beautiful gold uh, glitter on it. So I thought that was really beautiful. So I found that one. And then to go along with it, they have the Pick Your Own Carrot Patch with the truck that we've all seen a million times. No shade, it's still cute. It says, pick your own carrot patch, fruits, herbs, veggies, farm fresh daily. It's got the little blue truck. So 
so I thought these were super cute together and like with the burlap detail, I thought that was beautiful. So I forgot I found the bee fabric. Ooh, I love this one. This one's so cute. Oh, obsessed. Look how beautiful that is. I love it. I found that one. Oh, but I grabbed another one of these um, wall shelves. These are the hanging ones that comes with everything that you need. The ring and the string. It's just a wooden shelf. When I first saw these, I thought, man, they look kind of like cheap and I don't know. But anyway, I got two of them a while back and I painted them white and I hung them here in my room and I'll show you all a short little video clip of how I have them hanging. I figured I could use another one to put on top there. So I'll show you all that. It's just a fun do-it-yourself, super easy way to uh, decorate your own room or any place in your house. So these are actually not bad. I like these a lot. I've been looking for just like a cute dainty photo frame and I'm so glad I found this one. This is beautiful. It doesn't look like it's from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to try to open this without breaking it. I needed something to go on that shelf like the perfect photo frames, the perfect size. And I think this is going to do, it's just got a beautiful gold. Can y'all see that? I'm trying to open it up and put this photo in that I've been wanting to, and then I'll show you all. This is perfect. It's kind of, it's kind of crooked, but it's just so cute. You'll get the picture. Isn't that precious? That's me when I had blonde hair last year, by the way, and my son. Me and my son Knox on his seventh birthday. But this just looks so beautiful for $1.25. To this beautiful tissue paper it's a gift tissue paper it's got eight sheets has like the plants the green the plaid or i forget the whatever that is it's just really pretty i picked that up for gift giving or whatever i just thought that would be nice to have i got one of these um decor pieces this is the bunny bait fresh carrots with a galvanized piece at the top and it has a pretty burlap bow. Oh, it's just really cute. I've been looking for this one. They have three of these out this year and I wanted the carrots one. So I finally found that one. So I picked that one up. They have these beautiful um, handmade looking cards. I got this one. Um, I'm probably gonna frame this for a decor piece for Easter. It's from the Voila brand. And it's just really pretty. I couldn't pass it up. It's just beautiful. It says, you make my heart hop with joy. And the bunny ears have just this really pretty glitter detail and the raised flowers here and the little nose is glittery. I found this journal. I just love the design on it with the pink flamingos. It is super summery. I've been wanting to see all oh, the pages are beautiful. They have this pink tropical leaf. That's a nice size journal too. So I grabbed that, it's just super beautiful. Picked up these basket bags. This is a two piece for Easter basket or gift basket or whatever. They're just the clear one. <laughs> I was super excited about this. Look at this, Lisa Frank, over 600 stickers. Um, I was born in the 90s y'all, 1990 and these were really popular when I was growing up. I loved Lisa Frank and the stickers just bring back so many memories. So I had to get these. They're so cute. Look at those two puppies <laughs> on a cheeseburger. <laughs> just adorable. I had to pick these up just for the nostalgia of it all. It's so awesome. 
And they always, they had a smell to them. Am I weird? I, I'm weird. I smell everything. Look at the aliens in the car. Who remembers Lisa Frank? So yeah, over 600 stickers, so I had to have this. Super cute. So that is my collective haul of randomness. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I appreciate you all so much. My Timu haul video has really taken off and it's so funny because that was one that I was not going to post because I just felt like I didn't know what I was doing, but are there really any rules here on YouTube as long as you're kind? Uh, are there really any rules here for how you need to be? I know I'm like my own worst critic, but it's just, it's funny and ironic that I wasn't going to upload that Timu haul just because um, the way I looked or how I thought I sounded or what if I'm not good enough for YouTube or all those like silly thoughts that I had in my head. But anyway, I bit the bullet and I uploaded that video and oh my gosh, I never imagined that 3,000 people so far, it's been a week that it's been uploaded, but 3,000 people have viewed that and like 130 something people have liked it and I've gotten lots of subscribers. I started at like 15 I think and now I have like over 90 that just blows my mind so I'm glad that I've decided to put myself out here in this YouTube world which I know nothing about <laughs> anyway um YouTube has really helped me in a strange way recently I got COVID in January and then I had it I had strep and then I had a sinus infection and so I was down and out for like three weeks and during that time I really got into YouTube and I found a whole bunch a whole lot of amazing women on YouTube that just instantly brightened my day from watching them do uh, Dollar Tree hauls and Timu hauls and I know it sounds silly but um, and these women just sharing their lives with me it's very interesting. I'll just say that YouTube is a strange world and I'm, I'm just really great to bite the bullet and make my own videos. So I look forward to uh, meeting more of you all. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch my videos. Even if sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, it's fine. <laughs> I hope that you all get some joy out of it in some strange way. I hope it inspires you to go to your local Dollar Tree or it inspires you to create something um, or it inspires you to do something for yourself. But anyway, um, I will see you all in my next video.